Hey guys, and welcome back to Film Excitement. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the dark truth about Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber's relationship. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Hailey and Justin may have the perfect image of a relationship on social media, but it has never been easy for the two of them. Hailey and Justin Bieber gave one of the most candid interviews on their marital struggles on the In Good Faith with Chelsea and Judah Smith podcast on November 1st. And for the first time, Hailey really opened up about the toll watching Justin's struggle with his mental health had on her as his new wife. Justin and Haley had married just months before in September 2018, and reports surfaced in February 2019 that he was seeking treatment for depression. A source close to Beaver said that the Beavs have been down and tired. He has been struggling a bit. His issues have nothing to do with his new marriage either, the source clarified. Quote, it has nothing to do with Haley. He is very happy being married to her, the source said. It's just something that he struggles with mentally. He has good help around him and is receiving some treatment. He seems confident he will feel better soon. Haley later called the first year of their marriage, quote, very difficult in a March 2021 interview with Elle. Quote, obviously, sometimes it can be a little frustrating having to breathe my same air and wear this everywhere, she says. But one thing I do like is that the paparazzi can't see your face. I'm a young woman and it's very weird having all these grown men following you around all the time. I'm still not used to it and I don't think I'll ever be used to it because it's weird and should not be normal. Honestly, I may never stop wearing the mask in public. Let's just put it that way. To Chelsea and Judah, Haley spoke about the moments she nearly broke under the weight of watching her partner struggle. Quote, I remember calling my mom a few different times. One particular time when we were in Brooklyn and I was calling her, I was crying and I was like, I just can't do it. There is no way that I'm going to be able to do this if it's going to be like this forever. She started. And I just remember she was so calm on the phone and she was like, it's going to pass and you're going to be fine and he's going to be healthy and we're here for you. And I do feel like we had a lot of support. I feel like if I didn't have support, it would have been 10 times harder. And it was already the hardest thing in my life at the time, so I also just think I was in it. I made a decision, I know for a fact that I've loved this person for a very long time, and now would not be the good time to give up on him. I just wouldn't do that to him. Imagine abandoning somebody in the middle of the worst time of their life, potentially. I'm not that type of person, Haley continued. So I was going to stick it out no matter what the outcome was going to be. It was really hard. There were days where I literally was like, I don't know if he's going to be okay. Something really deep down inside of me was like, he is going to get through it. I just didn't know how long it was going to take. That's what I think was the hardest thing. There are no guarantees. To which Justin said, I was having these out-of-body experiences where I would say things like, I just feel my hands in a weird way. Haley added, very weird sensory stuff. Justin credited time with helping him and Haley become truly unconditional partners. Not anyone's breakthrough moment. Quote, I think it was just time that healed things, just us showing up for each other every day, being consistent. Me seeing that she wasn't going anywhere, he said. I think I had a lot of like rejection issues that I had just to fight through, but just her continuously showing up every day and being there for me. And I just kept seeing that over and over and over. And I just became more secure and more secure with where we were at in our relationship. Haley then added, I think neither of us were going to be the person to say, I quit. Neither of us were going to be the one to walk away from the situation because we were just both like, hey, we chose to fight for this, so we're going to keep fighting past whatever we need to. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.